Greetings viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Farmer Angel and I'm at the channel Fruits for the Youths. And yes peeps, we are going on the farm. Going on the farm. We're gonna do some spraying today. Along with the spraying. You know before you spray the cabbages you have to wet them. Yeah dunk sir. So you know I'm getting some help to transport the pump. Pump is very heavy peeps. I give thanks for the help and kind some farm stuff. So today as I said we will be wetting the plants because I'm the the, the moths are bats they do not like the water so what we do before we spray we always try to wet them also the cabbages need some water the other day I was spraying them and you guys can see how dry the area is and um, the farm has been neglected a while because of the, the big project that Huntley has going on with the cabbage and stuff so you know today though I want to harvest some cabbage. You're going to see where we are going to harvest some cabbages. That is going to be in the video. I'm also going to wet the area and um, spray the cabbages. All right. As I said, I'm using the organic gold fertilizer, which I've already mixed from the house and put in the, in the pan. And we'll be doing that. All right. So you'll see we have to go in, in between the cabbages to spray out. The worms if there are any in there because you know when these moths lay the eggs they lay them at certain places and like under the leaves between some creases and then you know they mature turn to worm and start eating the cabbage so we have to go in between the cabbages and ensure that all of them are up to par now in this video i must shout out to farm girl jesse um i have to sympathize on her you know she had some cabbages the other day i think fifty thousand five ten pack five ten thousand packs um seeds and she had they, they were infested by worms and stuff so again i sympathize on her but where she where she's located she don't have a lot of water like how we have the water here so as i said the mat the moths and the bats they do not like when you wet the cabbage when you wet it is they stay away so you get the chance to spray so they don't return for maybe three to four days and you have to be consistent with your spraying peeps um try to spray as often as you can maybe within the time span of three to four days don't let don't let it exceed four days without you spraying them and it's also wise for you to change the set of sprays that you use all the time all right because sometimes they get immune to it so what we use sometimes we use um the in the car along with the car trucks to kill all stages of the moths and then we change it up sometimes i use there's a chemical by the name of profron i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right and also you have one by the name of harpole i know that i i know the harpole but the one by the name of the profron i just want to research it really quick the name so i don't mislead anyone all right it's profron p-r-o-f-u-r-o-n 55 ec all right we happen to have one here so let me show you. so this is what it is it's from the brand rainbow and it is profiron 55 ec all right and it is a insecticide so this will help to kill the moths all right and the worms all right peeps good So on my way to the cabbage patch, I'm letting you see what the dry spell is doing to us, that the pumpkin peeps, and I'm guaranteed that later today all the leaves will be out again. That's how the place is cracking up. This is what um, the dry season does, peeps.
very hot day. So here we are peeps on the dry drier part of the land. I'm gonna wet these now. Alright. And then spray them. I definitely think that one bottle, well, they are not at a stage where they're gonna take a more than a bottle of spray right now. So I already mixed some. And this is what we are gonna do today. Just spray these cabbages. Wet them and then spray them. Alright, but the color low patch peeps, they look kind of yellowish because they need water too. But you see, you have some nice color low breading out of it. Nice, nice looking color low. So we still have a lot of color low. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and get the pump set up so we can document what we are doing. Alright. So stick around peeps and stay tuned. So there we go peeps. <coughs> Excuse me. Just finished setting up our irrigation system. So let me let you guys take a look at the cabbages. See? Not that bad. Now you can take a look at this one here. You can see where the insect is taking a toll eating through. Now let me look on this side of the leaf. Now peeps, look at this now. This is awesome. Let me set properly so you can see what's going on. Now I want you to take a look at the worms, what the moths do. Now look carefully peeps, you see that? This is what is infecting us up here peeps. This little man right here. So when you see, when I always talk about the moths and they lay the eggs, this is what the, what the eggs turn into. Alright, and I'll be taking care of this today. Alright, notice how the leaves are bitten up. Yeah. So yes peeps, let me look again and see. Let me look at this nice one here. See what's up. Don't see any holes on this one yet. But I'm pretty sure that it has laid its eggs somewhere. Maybe it's not visible with the eye. But you know, maybe microscopic now. So yes peeps, I'm seeing worms in this cabbage already. Even though they say at this stage you're not supposed to worry because they don't really like to eat these. They like to eat it when it is folded. But nowadays peeps, since you are treating your, your stuff so well, they will try to attack any stage that they get. Any stage peeps. So let me look over here now, the more material ones. As you can see they are devouring this one. I'm not seeing any worms but I know that they are there. Did you just see a moth fly peeps? Alright, look at this one. I haven't touched it as yet but watch. And it's in that one. I know that they are here. Mm -hmm. So my nice beautiful cabbages. I'm going to save you guys. Alright don't worry. Papa is here. Alright. I'm going to take care of you guys. Just need to hold the feet with me. Alright. See. The moths just came out. Is this a room right here? Yes it is. It's one of them peeps. See? So let me zoom in a little bit peeps. That's out. Yes, let me zoom in a little bit. I want you to pay attention to see if you see any one of these mats flying up. When I walk through, that's out. See them? As soon as you move through the cabbages, you'll see them move also. See them? 
these are so disgusting peeps anybody who plant cabbage are scared of these things peeps them don't play <clears throat> but as you can see peeps the cabbage i burned it the other day burned through it the burner wasn't all that strong as you can see they still look green but it for most part of it it is effective i didn't want to damage the cabbages and as you can see i haven't damaged the cabbage but just gonna go through and pick out the, the taller grass so yes peeps it's a good look it's a good look all right so let me go and set up the irrigation system now waiting on the water and then i'll see you again in a few So we are here with the irrigation system set up. So you don't want to damage your crop, so let me set it in a way where it doesn't really affect the crops. All right. Now because of the time of the day that we are watering, I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be some hot water in the line of the pipes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ensure that none of this hot water is the cabbage so see it's in the patch let it run out here first you know all the hot water because you don't want to burn up your plants all right so yes peeps the water is here so let me go and demonstrate quickly. Remember, we're wetting the cabbages. Yeah! Water there! So there we go peeps, wetting the cabbages. Alright, remember we are wetting for months so we can spray after and we are also irrigating them. Alright, so it's going to take a while. So welcome back peeps. Um, out here still doing some irrigation and wetting the plants. Remember cabbage, you have to wet them adequately, it's dry season. So this is how we maintain them during the dry season. So, watch.
We also have some pop chars over here, peeps. I'm waiting those two. Even though they are under the bush. So yes peeps, we're doing it, we're halfway through, but you know I still got to show you what I'm doing, so watch again. Yes, peeps, there you go, there you have it. We're doing some watering and it's going on fine, peeps. So, thank you for watching. Stay around, still not finished as yet. So, viewers and subscribers, I'm finished wetting the cabbage right now. So I'm gonna get ready to spray now. I have my spray right here waiting on me. Alright. Have some water here just running. Just have my boots. Boots are very muddy. Yeah. So that is it peeps for now. You'll see me in a few. And I'm spraying the cabbages. So remember people, the dry season have us out here. And you know, we don't mind it. As long as we have the resources, it's a plus for me. I don't mind the hard work at all, at all, at all. So now peeps, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the pump. And as you can see, everywhere was irrigated. Also the color low nursery and I even irrigate the color low over there I don't know if you can see where the land is partially dumped over there see all over there 
where the color low is you cannot really see from here oh, we had some irrigation all right peeps so bless up yourself stay tuned and watch for more yes peeps so I finished watering the cabbage now and behind me is my spray bottle with my organic blend in it I'm gonna go ahead now and spray through all this cabbage right here and people it's been a while since I've worked so hard one day remember it's a week on week off thing for me on the farm so last week was my week on today is Sunday so this is my final day of the week on the farm and for the rest of the week I'll be in the market I have a lot of pumpkin, a lot of cabbages, a lot of sweet potato and all that to sell to my customers. So you know the drill, I have to go to Kingston first, Curry Nation, drop off some stuff and then I head to Montego Bay. So stay tuned peeps and watch me manhandle this spray pan. So just in case you're curious peeps, what I'm actually doing here, I actually I'm using the drum to help me up with the spray pan, alright? So here we go now. This is a way to help you with your spray pan. Let me test him. See what's good. so we are ready now all right so let's go so here we go now peeps we are spraying inside and around the cabbages I'm doing two rows at a time all right so when you have your bottle you need to move quickly so the spray can serve spray a lot of cabbages you want to stay one place too too long just to move around all right so remember I cannot spray and handle the camera at the same time so pump up my spray bottle once and as you can see it did two rows so let me just put it to stand. Have you watch me? All right. So that's a nice view right there. So I'm doing two rows at a time, peeps. We are already wet the cabbages. So we are spraying them now. Alright peeps, so you get you get the drift now, alright? So stay tuned while I do some more spraying. So people we are right here with the cabbages. This is my next row. Now I want to illustrate something to you peeps. You now these cabbages are approximately six weeks old. Because I planted them along with the lettuce over there 
and this has, it has been two weeks now since my lettuce has been finished and approximately two weeks after lettuce was planted we, we, um, we planted these cabbages but both nurses are planted at the same time now this cabbage is already started to fold now what you want to do when they are started to fold even when they are hard you want to use the nozzle to open that hole and spray it down inside there see so that's what I'm doing right now I'm opening the holes or the ones that are folded they are starting to fold all right see and I'm getting all what's inside if there's any worm or eggs inside I'm spraying them all out see all right so that's the progress for today peeps I'm still um I still have three quarters of it to do on both sides so can't waste any time peeps but I'm still updating you guys so watch me go Viewers and subscribers, I'm through spraying the cabbages. And watering them. So day is kind of overcast now. It's cool. It was very hot earlier. Now it's cool. So I give thanks, you know. Give a lot of thanks. So yes viewers and subscribers, thanks very much for watching. You know I was solo today doing some work. I always like to I love to work alone peeps. I put in more effort when I'm working and I stay more focused. Now <clears throat> let's kinda evaluate what I just did. Now I just sprayed the cabbages for bats and moths and worms. Um if you notice cabbage is a type of it's a leafy crop right <clears throat> and what the worm does it eats through the leaves now remember the leafy crops after a while they fold like this and that's how the cabbage gets its body now just imagine if a worm starts eating out inside and you don't spray it and it's folded up inside the cabbage just like this it will eat everything in from the inside out so that is why a cabbage is so hard to, to, to spray because you have to go through and through and ensure that the worms are not inside the cabbage all right <clears throat> now what i'm doing here some people might differ from what i'm doing but you know it's not five and five alone equals ten you have six plus four seven plus three eleven minus one and so forth so some things work for some people and some things don't <clears throat> what we realize up here in saint Anne is that the but the moths and are the bats they do not like water so we love to wet our cabbages before we water them. that's how we do it sorry we like to water wet the cabbages before we spray them with anything all right now these moths and worms are very very dangerous peeps you know sometimes you will put in your effort to to, to to buy these crops to maintain the sprays and all that stuff and the worms just come and eat it down and you are not motivated sometimes the the crop is not even selling for for a good price like cabbage now is very cheap so a lot of farmers tend to not want to spend a lot of money <clears throat> on farming at this point in time all right now each one, young farmers like myself can teach one. I mean, I don't know a lot about farming, but I'm learning. And I take it from the guys that are here who, who, who are seasoned and know about farming. 
you know, I take what they say, I do my research and I put everything together. And as I said, we open up the cabbages and we spray them in and out because you don't want to spray any worms. You don't want to have any worms leave for them to eat out the crop the, um, the cabbages. But there's one thing I didn't tell you about this, this crop right here. <clears throat> as I said, it's a, it's a project. We're doing the majority of the, 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 the cabbage um, farm down there. And the cooler part of the land up here is a hotter part of the land. I'm getting to realize that the two plants like yam, dasheen, cocoa, um, sweet potato, and even hot pepper. Which is not a tube plant, but it is more fitting for this part of the land because the land is very hot, peeps. Alright. Now, what I want to tell you, why this little piece of cabbage is so pretty. Um, I was instructed that when you are planting these cabbages, when you get them from the nursery, there is this chemical by the name of Actara. Alright, let, um, let me repeat, Actara. You mix it out in a container, alright, and when you pull the seedlings from the nursery, you dip the root in the Actara, and it's a form of chemical that works from the inside out to the leaves so it works from the root up to the leaves and prevent um, um insects and and fungus at the early stages peeps all right so i'm i'm figuring that the reason why this cabbage is so pretty from the rest it is that because um i did that i dipped them in octara and i've been using the organic gold fertilizer <clears throat> now remember the organic gold fertilizer it's in lower river chilani paul patmore is the one who who does that that's a free promotion mr patmore now um what we do with the organic gold, if we're going to use it as a repellent, like for the for the moth or the the bats or the or the worms, we use one liter of the organic gold to three liters of water. So you do the math. My I have two spray pans. One is sixteen liters and one is eighteen liters. So if you're going to use the eighteen liter one, you should know that one liter of organic gold goes to three liters of water. So you do the math until the pan is filled. All right. So if you're going to use it as a fertilizer, now you use one liter of organic gold to five liters of water. And that's when you spray it at the roots. And for the repellent, you spray it over and inside the plants as I just did. So with all that said, peeps, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing my journey again, peeps. I appreciate you watching. And I'm asking you to click the thumbs up button like this. It is free. Click it. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to the movement, peeps. It is also free to subscribe to the movement. I know that a lot of you are watching this from a television set or in a phone and you're not signed into, into Google or signed into YouTube. You can do so and support this channel, peeps. Remember, this channel won't grow or it won't reach it won't reach where it's supposed to go unless you people do what you got to do. Support the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And all the young farmers in and around Jamaica, link up, man. Link up. <clears throat> you're welcome to come to my farm. I mean, I would also visit your farm. But, you know, I am, I'm also working on a, on a farm bus, peeps. The vehicle that my wife and I own, um, it's not um, conducive or, or it's not compatible, I should say, to bring all this crap right here. So we are working on a, on a farm bus. So the people, my customers in Kingston, you have no problem getting your goods because there's a market truck that leaves here in St. Anne and goes to Kingston. But there's no market truck that leaves St. Anne and goes to Montego Bay. So most of the time, I have to transport the stuff like I have to pay for like maybe a, the back of a bus seat or you know stuff like that to get the products to you and the, the fare is very expensive so <clears throat> I'm working hard peeps to get a farm bus you know what I'm saying um they are like three million dollars um for the one that I need it's not really a farm bus a goods bus you know the Toyota IS bus or the Nissan Caravan some of the, those buses I'm working hard towards getting one of those peeps and when I get one of those bus you know that Jai is going to bless me and the universe is going to bless me. I can get my fresh products out here to you. All right. Now, bless up yourself, peeps. I'm heading to Kingston now. So, you know, it's, it's Champs Week and a lot of soup is going to sell at Stadium. So we're going to have a lot of pumpkin to sell and soup and soup um, condiments. So thanks, peeps. And remember, fruits for you say, walk good and stay blessed. It's a beautiful day. Harvesting some cabbage. Got these cabbages, peeps. Nice and round and big. See it hard as a rock, peeps. These are being harvested now. Alright. This is the sound man right here. Harvesting some cabbage. Got him. 
But what, about how much pound that for? About a pound and a half? About a pound and a half, that's all. See that peeps? Nice yield, heavy. Alright, this is what we are reaping today. Alright, cabbages are mature now, fit and ready for the market. Just the other day you saw me spraying these, the final spray. And they came out very well. Look at these peeps. You see, the cabbages are wet. And they have, haven't been watered. So cabbages hold water, peeps. Alright. So look, you see, nice yield. Very healthy looking. So stick around, peeps. There's more to come in this video. Alright. Outside.